What's up guys welcome back. Today we will be looking how we can link other web pages with our website. As we have seen earlier we start a document with defining the doc type. In our case we write it as doc type html which defines that our document is of html5. And next as we have seen we start with an html opening and closing tag in which we write body anything that is supposed to be displayed on a web page is written in the body to place a link in a document we write it as a that is anchor tag and we mention href which can be safely said as hypertext reference and in the quotes we write the address of the page that we are referring to let's say we are referring to www.vdcomputerguys.com and whatever we display over in between the opening and closing anger tag that is the text that will be visible on which the user will click and which will navigate user to other web page. For say we write visit a blog and save this document as say example.html which is the extension for an HTML document. Now to just check out the output we will simply execute the saved file this is how the document is being displayed and as we click on visit our blog link we are navigated to the web page that we were referring to now suppose I want to open this web page on another tab or a window. For that we can add an attribute named target. Here we can write underscore blank. By specifying this target attribute we can open the link in the new tab or a new window. We will just save this and refresh this page and click on the link as we can see it opened the web page in a new tab hyperlink can be used with text or an image or any other element which on click will go to another page or document now next what we learn is how to display an image in our html document to display an image we write it as image that is img src stating the location where the file is being stored image file if my image file is in the same folder as that of an html file i can directly write the name of my image file here the name of the file is batman underscore logo which is of the format png so i write it as batman underscore logo dot png and save this document now to see the output I would simply uh, execute the file this is how it is being displayed it is always recommended that we mention an alternate text with the image this is because alternate attribute says specifies an alternate text for the image if by any chance the image is not displayed so here we write simply batman or say batman logo and save this file initially we won't find anything different than what what we can see right now but say we made a mistake and the image is not able to load for that i just added an extra alphabet in the source of the image and 
simply saving the file and refreshing the page since it couldn't find the image of batman logo p dot png it displayed the alternate text that we had specified had we not specified this alternate text it would have displayed a cracked image or a broken web page or a broken image so it is always advisable to write an alternate text note that whatever you write in an alternate text should describe what the image is all about another important thing to note here is we should even specify the size of the image since different images have different resolution it is always better to specify how big the image should be displayed on the on your web page here for say i specify width of the image to be 300 pixel and i'm saving this document and simply refreshing the page oops like we did not correct the name of the image file it just displayed what the alternate text was and couldn't display the image so i'm just correcting the path and the name of the file and saving it and refreshing it again all right we can see the image is being shown with the pixel that we had specified i can even specify the attribute as height and just simply refreshing the page we can see the image is being displayed with a height of 300 pixel it is also possible that i specify both height and width of the image here we can see the image has been distorted since we did not maintain the aspect ratio of the image and simply specified static uh, width and height of the image so if we only specify one attribute say height it would align the image with the value with of the height attribute another way of specifying width and height is using style attribute here i can i would write style and in between the quotes i will write height here i am mentioning 400 pixel and now refreshing the page again i would find the image with a resolution of 400 and likewise i can also specify width of the image say 600 600 pixel these are the two ways in which we can specify the width and height of an image all right now we will see how we can use an image with an anchor tag like we just saw few minutes before we write it as a href and we specify a website say the link of batman on wikipedia and closing the quotes ending the opening tag and i will place the closing tag after the image tag and i write it as slash a now saving it and refreshing the page i will see the pointer has been changed and when i click it would navigate me to the wikipedia page of the batman that i had specified likewise i can specify any element or text in between anchor tag now i can also note one thing like i give some incorrect name to the image and save it and i have enclosed this image in between the anchor tag now when i execute i would see the image is not being displayed but what is being displayed is the alternate text that i had defined and clicking that text i can navigate myself to the page that was specified so it is really important to specify alternate text to the image so if by any chance anything goes wrong the viewer would understand what the image was all about that is all for the day keep practicing see you soon